When I landed in San Diego last night, there were three active Navy ships docked in San Diego Bay. That number has decreased to two with the deployment of the USS Macon Island to the West Pacific this morning. Those two ships remaining are the USS Carl Vinson and the site for Friday's big matchup between number two Gonzaga and Michigan State. That would be the USS Abraham Lincoln. Coach Few and his players are looking forward to this one of a kind opportunity. What a great way to, you know, in a very, very small way, just honor all our service people that are out there. I think it's going to be extremely powerful. That's a once in a lifetime opportunity. I mean, there's only a handful of people that can ever say they played in the game on an aircraft carrier. And I mean, to do it against like a prestigious uh, school like uh, Michigan State and that, that program. I feel like that's just something that's good for college basketball. Coach Few said he has never been on an aircraft carrier before, but when the opportunity came knocking, he did not need much convincing from Coach Izzo to make this game happen. Tom Izzo told me it was outside of a Final Four. It was the greatest event he went to. Um, coolest thing he's ever done outside of being part of like a you know national championship game or something. So I said, all right. Okay, I'm in. Coach Izzo and Michigan State took part in the Carrier Classic in 2011 aboard the USS Carl Vinson. Coach View and Drew Timmy both note similarities between that year's team and this Spartans team. You know when you play Michigan State, you're going to be in for a real, real physical battle. So uh, you know, we better get our hard hats on and, and uh, be ready. Michigan State plays hard. I mean, that's a Tom Izzo DNA, and they, they're very blue collar in how they play. So uh, if we want to just kind of be cute and pretty and everything, you know, then they're going to kick our ass. So we got to come out and uh, not be afraid to get our nose dirty. The Zags and Spartans will tip it off at 3.30 p.m. on Friday. You can see that game on ESPN, but keep it locked here on Krem up until tip off and following the game as we will have full highlights and post game reaction for you on Krem 2 Friday evening. For now, reporting at the Embarcadero in San Diego, Andrew Quinn, Krem 2 Sports.